I All right, hear we're, stuff he says. I think we're, he said UK. We're, we're back on we're back on your guys. Like <laughs> oh. So that was Lemonade Kid with this chemistry of his new EP coming out on Friday, March third, which is program electricity. That was a really cool. We, we played a bunch of Lemonade Kid stuff over the past year or so, maybe a little bit more with all the different EPs out. It's always cool and cool and different and it just like really kind of out there and like very cool like kind of electronic ambient stuff and like really sweet yeah i, I think he's absolutely brilliant um the, the string sounds the, the cellos and and, and the, the whole kind of quartet sound in there i thought was a really nice touch and just not just the the sound but the actual composition of that the, the you know the uh, the, I guess the notes and the chords that were behind that as about as technical as I get musically, but um, that was that was really really nicely done. I've got a really good friend of mine who I um, went to school with. We've known each other since we were about uh, eleven. He's a professional cellist, and he would love something like that. That's right up his street. Um, he's also a massive Iron Maiden fan, but that's not really related. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was great. Um, the, the reason I was the reason we were laughing when that came back on air is I was trying to ask where he was from because I put. Uh, on Twitter, that those strings are fit, and in the UK, fit basically means gorgeous, lush. Yeah, it's brilliant. Right. And I suddenly thought I've tweeted this, and if he's from anywhere Shrewsbury. else, might just look really weird. <laughs> Shrewsbury. Oh, there you go. That's in the Midlands. I told you the Midlands had a great music scene. Um, and <laughs> that's another man from the, from the Midlands. Um, yeah, I absolutely. I, you know, I thought it was really, really good. Um, and and he will know what I mean when I say those strings are fit um, even if no one else in the world does so <laughs> yeah, nice one <laughs> really really cool yeah I've, I've heard Lemonade Kid stuff before uh, we played up on the show before I've actually even before I've uh, I've listened to the show and been on the show I, I heard some of his stuff a while ago and got into it and uh, it is it is pretty unique it's nice it's really smooth the nice thing is is that a lot of his a lot of his stuff can be quite different like there was one EP I think that opened with you know like a uh, really rock and tune and then uh, it was kind of electro and then it kind of went to something a little bit softer but you know just as deep so uh, I mean he's a super talented guy you know he's got lots of good stuff going on and this is a really nice track really really smooth really really deep um, a lot of good synth in it um, like uh, as far as like the the tones and everything goes um, I'm not really sure how the how the instruments were recorded as far as you know like all like the background strings and stuff like that that's why I was kind of referring to synth I don't know if that was if it was live or if it was uh, electronic but it was it sounded really really nice and you know uh, really really full so it was good stuff great stuff looking forward to the new release right on so we are going to finish up with gypsy ghost the a song called name is demon which we've heard before but it's a great tune and they please live last night and pretty sure one of the videos i put up online has it live and uh it was really cool because it's such a heavier song than we're used to but still like badass as hell and it was awesome and i got actually got a new gypsy ghost t-shirt uh at the show too so they got a brand new one but yeah a uh, great Great show, and this is an awesome tune. So let's go with Gypsy Ghost and Nameless Demon. Dig this. Oh my, how much you love 
Gypsy Ghost, Nameless Demon, badass song, and heavier than we're used to, but really cool, a really even cooler live, which I saw last night, awesome show, awesome tune, and I can't say enough good things about these guys, they are solid rockers, uh, to uh, a very different extent, because it's not necessarily rock, it's, you know, dirty gypsy music, whatever you want to call it, but it's awesome. <laughs> dirty gypsy music, proper filth, All right, yeah. <laughs> phrase we've coined on this show, it's proper filth. That is right. I love Gypsy Ghost, man. Like, I am so jealous. I'm, I'm, I'm literally thinking about ways I can crowdfund their trip to the UK just so I can... I don't even just want to see them. I want to manage a tour for them and see them every night for a fortnight. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I've got to make this happen. Um, you know, the, sod it, I'll quit my job and do that. Whatever. Let's just go and see Gypsy Ghosts. If, if you're anywhere near where they are, go and see them and, and, and find a way. Someone needs to invent <laughs> teleportation so that I can see bands like Gypsy Ghost it's just so unfair um, I'm really I'm really happy that you got to see them um, you know from a, from a personal point of view as a friend I'm, I'm happy for you but I'm so jealous uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell you how jealous I just love them they're great uh, they've been my new favourite band at least once on the show um, and that's a great track so yeah and, and we've talked before actually um, uh, their first uh, couple of EPs and the progression to this latest album is absolutely phenomenal. And then just the, um, they're all really good, but it's really good to hear bands kind of build on themselves and build on past experience and, and really uh, take it up a level. And that new album is just so good. It's, it's good enough that, you know, um, my wife and my boy and even my parents, like when I put stuff like this, because I'm always playing stuff, people are like, oh, what's that? This is the band that everyone takes note, you know, friends, family, everyone goes, oh, who's that? That's really different. That's really interesting. And people just love it. It's just great. It's a... <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were, I mean, they're absolutely fantastic and amazing. I mean, they're just awesome all around. They are one of those bands that I hope lives to be a million years old mm -hmm. because I want to, I want to listen to everything that they're going to put out from, the beginning of time until eternity i mean they're just they're so amazingly talented and they're one of those bands that is just you know you have to watch them in awe and i'm really i'm really glad that uh that bonesy got some uh pictures from the from the live gypsy ghost show when he went because uh, i'm gonna totally you know check them out and i mean they're just amazing they're an amazing band and if you if you are a fan of awesome music of any style <laughs> to not listen to the Gypsy Ghost, you are doing your ears and yourself an injustice. And it's a crime. You quote me on that. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's illegal in some countries. Not <laughs> Gypsy Ghosts. Just not on the island that uh, Brian Antipole <laughs> and Analog Waiver record on. No, because Gypsy Ghosts are coming to my island. We're going to crowdfund that. Oh yeah, so, right. Go to my island. That's, that's where they belong. <laughs> we could do that. All right, so that's going to do it for part one. We'll be back in roughly like about 10 minutes for part two. And our special guest will be Jess from She Was Loud. So they have a new EP coming out. And uh, we're going to be playing a bunch of tunes, ask her a bunch of questions. It'll be a lot of fun. So we'll be back in about five, 10 minutes. Until then, this has been Brian. Uh, Brian. Dr. Bones, one man standing, and Mike from 105. We'll be right back. Bones out. <laughs>